Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Wednesday, another shave. And as you've seen in the thumbnail, we have got a good one lined up for you today. So I'll go through the stuff. I'll tell you a bit about it and then we'll crack on and have us a good shave. But not long in from work, need a shave. Always feel better. Start the evening off with a nice shave. And first off there, Razor Rock. You see it? Try and get it the right way up. Razor Rock 400 and that's called a Noir Knot and we'll put that in some water in the official John Shears Super Soaker Barber's Cup there. Uh, the soap, no, what should we do? We'll do the razor. Do you know what, of all the razors that I use, whether it be the Rex Ambassador uh, or the Timeless or even the Blackland Dart, do you know the one that gets more love in the comments and videos and private messages than any other is this one, the Rockwell 6C or 6S. I think the difference is um, just the stuff it's made out of. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I'm aware, the only difference between that and the 6S is the 6S is steel. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, excellent shaver. This was a gift to the channel from Daniel Lund. Thank you, Daniel. Beautiful razor, beautiful shaver. And like I say, whenever I use it, all the comments, all the messages, everything. People have only got love. This is a very well loved razor. What we're gonna do, I'll see if I can uh, find this on. Can you see it on two there? I will flip that plate, we'll do one on two, the next one on four, and the last one, I've got the plate here. Number six, we'll finish off on number six, and that should give us a DFS at least, shouldn't it? Okay. Um, the soap we're going to be using is this one here. Let me see it now. The Artisan Shave Shop Humidor. Now, anything you can tell me about this, guys, let me know, please, because I can't find anything. I mean, it must be me, I don't know, but the Artisan Shave Shop, I can't find anything about them. Um, we all know what a humidor is a cigar box, isn't it? Um, it is a beautiful, sweet tobacco scent that's what it looks like this was sent to me from dennis in oregon thank you dennis hope you're doing well buddy as you can see i took a healthy um scoop out of there i've got it in the bowl here the uh, giles shaving captain's choice bowl uh, and i didn't put a lot in there guys and that whipped up a healthy healthy lather um, and the reason i did that because dennis sent me that off i've had that in there for so long I wasn't sure how it would react, so I whipped it up first in there off camera to see where we put straight away, woof, second, thick, rich, creamy lather. Uh, more Reserot products, and there you go. Pour us. Beautiful, beautiful, sweet tobacco scented aftershave. Um, and we'll balm up with this EAD. What's it say? Sandalwood. Let me see. I'm trying not to wear my glasses when I shave, guys. I don't like doing it. Sandalwood and shea butter. And the scent of that actually complements the, um, the, the soap and the splash. And that was only 99 pence, guys. 99 pence. And that's it. That's the rundown. So without further ado, we're going to have a sup of coffee because I haven't been in long. There you go. Yay! Uh, this is Dunkin' Donuts medium blend, this one. Mm. Oh, there you go. So we'll wet the face. And then we'll crack on. Oh, so how is everybody doing? Got some new, a couple of new subscribers. Please click like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Uh, here we go. We'll get that out there, actually. Just, just get it, give it a good shake, get it damp, because that stuff has already been whipped up. And what we did, what I did was, Dennis also sent me a Samorg eight twenty. I've got an eight thirty. I, I always get the eight twenty, the eight thirty mixed up. Um, and I've got one, and he sent me the one I didn't have, uh, and I got it out and I had it soaking because it was brand new, uh, and I used that to whip up the lather. Here, so there you go. But, but this is. Just give a look at that, guys. Look at that lather. It is like whipped cream. 
and it smells fantastic. I would say the scent right out is about five. But uh, yeah, look at it. I mean, I don't know how long Dennis had it. I would have to go back and see. Do you remember my unboxing video? I think it was a few months ago. And Dennis had had it too. For however long he'd had it. But look at this beautiful. Mm. Well, I can tell you right now, guys, I'll lean in. Absolutely wonderful. Look, rich, creamy. So let's get somewhat. Oh, it's very, very slick. Oh. So how are you all doing? <laughs> how is everybody? Oh, here we go. Yeah, so let me know what you think of the Rockwell 6C. And before we go any further, see, that's the shelf of love. Well, that's what I call it. The Anything I'm loving on in the week, it goes on there. And I got, Kevy told me about those. He said they smell like Creed Aventus. That's those and my Creed Aventus dupe. Uh, and they do when you're in the shower and you're lathering up. Uh, it's certainly from the same family, I would say, as the Creed. Definitely. Here we go. So. This is one of the reasons. One of the reasons. Oh, guys. I try and, I'm trying to slow things down. Because do you know what I forgot? Here it is. I always, I'm leaving that in. You can you can mock me all you want. There you go. The Rockwell razor blade. Do you know when you're having a shave and you're making a shaving video? Aren't the razors always a good idea? Well, there you go. I was so busy wittering on. In this heat, guys, I just make sure we get it the right way. You can't sleep, you can't concentrate. Well, that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. There you go. Back number two, and we've got it in the Rockwell. <laughs> First use of Rockwell, that's the razor blade that comes with the razor. So it should be good. Okay, and we're going to go two four and six because you know my philosophy it's like cutting grass when you're cutting long grass you, you get it you take the top off first don't you then you go a bit lower and then you take it down a bit lower and then your lowest setting to finish it off and get a nice smooth lawn and that's kind of the principle i adopt with adjustables i'll go mild a little bit more aggressive most aggressive for the last parts Taking it down, beard reduction. Let me know if you guys have tried that, because I said it on the video a couple of weeks ago. And some of you guys said in the comments and some of you private messaged me and said, I'm going to give that a go. You're not doing it the other way around, because pretty much everybody I've seen starts off with the most aggressive and then goes milder. Uh, which I've done myself, I've not said anything about it, but... I much prefer this method. Oh, did you see this? Remember on Saturday I did that with the Blackland? It was like a gouge, complete not a carelessness on my part. Guys, it only stopped bleeding yesterday. Oh. I thought I was going to have to get airlifted to hospital, but it did actually stop bleeding. So there you go. Oh. So how are you all doing? Please let me know what your shaves of the day are. Here we go. Let's turn this plate round now. I'm doing this. I was... There you go. I wanted to do this because people have also said to me, it's too finicky, that Rockwell. It's a great shave, but all that switching plates. There you go. What are we on now? I can't even see it, is it? Yeah. So my eyes are absolutely shocking. Yeah. It's 
It's on number four if that doesn't say, I'll watch it back if that doesn't say number four, please. Feel free to mold me in the comments. But yeah, this soap, guys. Mmm. Very, very slick. Very slick indeed. It smells fantastic. But that was a good first pass. Rockwell 6C. Like I say, everybody, the comments fall into two categories. Love the Rockwell. Love the Rockwell 6C. John, you need to get yourself 6S. I'm working on it, guys, but I'm on a budget. So, here we go. There you go. This is plate number four now. And can you hear that? This is a lovely, smooth shave. Uh, this, did I, did I mention? This was a gift from Daniel Lund. Thank you, Daniel, if you're watching. Wonderful. Because I had a 2C. But like I said, I no longer have it and I missed it. Daniel sent me this, so thank you Daniel. So let me know what your shaves of the day are. Let me know what you think of the 6C, the 6S and Rockwell razors. Keep the comments coming, I enjoy reading them. And I enjoy responding to them as well. Look at that guys. What a shave, what a razor. Oh, yeah. Absolute wonderful. Can you see I'm a going red? Once again, this bathroom, we've had a hot day today. It's cooled down a little bit this afternoon, but it was really, really hot. Actually, what we'll do now is we'll take that plate off. And we'll put the number six. Can you see it? Number six on there. Just a wonderful wrist, fantastic, absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, here we go for the last pass. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I was watching Kevin Shaves and he was telling me about, about that stuff. And it does, I went and got some. 90 pence in Asda. Uh, and it wasn't, when you when you get it when I had a sniff in Asda and I was like, oh, okay. But when you come home and get it in the shower, then it, it comes alive, yeah. And it does. That's uh that's a really, really, really good creed do that guys. I'll show you that. Copycat fragrances executive, that's their dupe of um Aventus. And that smells like those. So here we go. Um, I've got a, a nice shave lined up for Saturday. I believe there's something big going on in America at the weekend. Hmm, I don't know what. But uh, anyway. We'll have a nice shave. Oh, so... absolutely wonderful I've been enjoying watching everybody's videos uh, I saw Sinatra Lennon using tobacco did you see I had tobacco on the shelf last week because we got um, we got a deal I got a deal on a tobacco stick uh, oh, and that's something as well, I meant to ask, put it out there. Oh, I've got a tobacco stick, look at that guys, oh my word. Wonderful shave, I've got a tobacco stick. Now the tobacco stick to me looks, feels and smells different to the soap that's in the glass jug, the glass jar. It, it smells tobacco and you can tell it's tobacco and you'd identify it as tobacco. But in the stick, it, it it just smells much, it just smells much richer and spicier and more tabacky. Do you know what I mean? It just smells like a much nicer scent in the stick, uh, and it looks like there's more glycerin glycerin it or something. Um, if I ever get a chance, I will show you holding them upside by side. But 
they, they look and they smell a little bit different to me so if you've had that experience please let me know I'd be interested to hear that and that is our shave and guys what a shave what an absolute pearl of a shave oh here we go no dry the hurt we'll have the lean in look at this nothing there isn't a hair nothing that is just pure skin absolute bbs an absolute wonderful shave all that love for the 6c and the 6s is absolutely justified so we'll go with this this is now if you're teetering on the brink with tobacco scents, this isn't for you. You know, some people do, I like to, don't I like to, but I like it, but this isn't for you. This is a beautiful scent, but it's very strong, very in your face. Wonderful scent, absolutely wonderful. And we'll balm up with a bit of VAD. Uh, oh, look. Say a bit, let's get some of that off. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, and that's us. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean up. I'm going to finish my coffee. And then I'm going to have something to eat. Uh, I think I'll have a nice, light, measure of pasta bolognese. And that's me. So let me know guys, let me know what you're up to. Let me know what you think of today's shave. Let me know what ideas you've got or what you'd like to see me use. Please click like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Uh, have a wonderful week. Look after yourselves uh, and be the change you wish to see in the world. And I will see you on Saturday for an American shave. Be there or be square. Bye.